Well, one of the biggest power-ups in Naruto has been the six paths. It significantly enhances the user's powers and takes them to a completely new level when it comes to power. It has been our protagonist's most powerful mode in the original Naruto manga, and we all know that Naruto looks like this when he uses it. But what if I told you that his six path mode also has another hidden mode that Naruto has yet to use? But before we talk about it, I wanna ask you guys to make sure to like the video and subscribe if you enjoy. Have a great day, now let's jump into it. Well, before starting the transformation itself, let's first talk about how Naruto got it. There's a very big misconception about Naruto getting this mode. A lot of people think that Hagiromo was the one who gave Naruto his six path sage mode, but that isn't true. In fact, it was Obito who did that. Well, during the fourth Ninja World War, Kurama was not the only tail beast who shared his chakra with Naruto. Son Goku, the four tails, gave Naruto his chakra as he wanted to help Naruto. In their psychic world, Matatabi, Isabu, Kokuo, Saiken, and Chomei all shared their chakras with Naruto, as Son Goku requested them to do. They believe that Naruto is the reincarnation of Hagoromo. However, despite that, Naruto was still lacking the chakra of Hachibi and Shikaku, and this is where Obito comes into place. He knew what tail beast powers Naruto needed inside of him. Hagiromo did not also magically appear in front of Naruto, and according to him, he could not do things for him. He could only tell them. In Naruto's case, it was only people outside that could do things to him, and it was Obito who did. That glowing moment when Obito was transferring Tail Beast inside Naruto was an indication of Six Path Sage Mode. That was the moment when Naruto truly got into this divine mode. The only things Hagiromo gave to Naruto and Sasuke were the yin and yang seals, which were returned to him after Naruto and Sasuke sealed Kaguya with the Six Path Chibaku Tensei. After obtaining the Six Path Sage Mode, Naruto became a god level ninja. This mode increases the user's physical parameters well above that of Sage Mode and the Nine Tails Chakra Mode, as Naruto was able to kick away Truth Seeking Balls before entering the Nine Tails Chakra Mode with this power. As a heightened state of Sage Mode, Naruto's Jutsu are augmented with larger amounts of natural energy to make them stronger. Naruto gains a mastery of Chakra and the ability to comprehend all universal things thanks to the power he received from Hagoromo. His sensing ability also rises to the point where he can sense and thus react to the invisible shadows in the world of Limbo. When Naruto uses his Ninetales Chakra Mode in conjunction with his Six Path Sage Mode, he can push his abilities even further, such as being able to levitate, becoming fast enough to catch Kaguya Atsutsuki off guard, and durable enough to take a Chidori unharmed. For a really long time, Naruto Uzumaki's Sage Mode remained as the strongest form of Naruto, up until when Naruto first used Baryon Mode. In this mode, Naruto and Kurama's chakras are consumed as raw materials to produce a new type of energy. The increase in chakra was enough to shock both Ishiki and Sasuke, with the latter noting it was tremendous. When in use, it dramatically boosts Naruto's reflexes, speed, and power to such extremes that he even surpasses Ishiki's capabilities, allowing him to snatch the Atsutsuki's black rods out of the air before they are visibly enlarged, as well as dodge and effortlessly parry attacks. Kurama notes that because all chakras are connected, contact with an opponent will drain their lifespan as well. As powerful as Baryon Mode is, it is extremely dangerous if used for too long or recklessly. Doing so will gradually drain the user's strength and lifespan. Because of the extreme risk, the user must not make any unnecessary movements nor act on any stray thoughts, focusing on only the most calculated of moves to keep Baryon Mode stable. Even more, overusage of this form comes at an even greater risk to Kurama's life altogether effectively killing it. Upon reaching the breaking point, Kurama's entire being will be destroyed, depriving Naruto of all of the Kitsune's chakra and capacities. However, the removal of Kurama from its Jinchuriki will not endanger the latter's life. This drawback makes a lot of people think that Naruto is no longer a top-tier ninja. Yeah, losing Kurama will seriously affect Naruto's strength, 
but it doesn't mean that Naruto is no longer the strongest ninja in the world. It's been stated several times that after obtaining Six Paths Sage Mode, Naruto possesses the chakra of every tailed beast. This means his chakra supply, as well as his strength, is still inhuman compared to other ninjas. After obtaining this mode, Naruto is able to use numerous abilities that we haven't seen yet. For example, he should be able to produce blue flames because of Matatabi, or produce coral thanks to Isabu. However, the most unique and strongest ability that I think Naruto can use thanks to the chakra of other tailed beasts is called Lava Release Keke Genkai from Four Tails Son Goku. It's a nature transformation Keke Genkai, a combination of fire and earth. Whereas most Keke Genkai are largely identical between users, Lava Release has a variety of forms depending on who's using it. For example, Molten Rock, both in solid and liquid states, is created by Sun Goku and its Jinchuriki. Acidic Mud is created by Meitarumi of Hidden Mist and Boro of Kara. In the anime, it's also used by Kayasuki of Hidden Rain. Vulcanized Rubber, which is strong against lightning release, is used by Dadai of Hidden Cloud. Sasuke Shinden notes that this form is in fact common among the Hidden Cloud's leadership. Karyu also uses this version. Volcanic Ash is created by Kuritsuchi of Hidden Rocks. She also uses its quicklime form. And in Gara Hayden, melting flames are created by Itoro Kanjiki of Hidden Stones. After obtaining Six Paths Sage Mode, Naruto used three Keke Genkais, and one of them was Lava Release. He used Sage Art, Lava Release, Rasen Shuriken twice, once in Boruto against Delta, and once in the Fourth Shinobi War against Tentails Madara. This is a very powerful technique used by Naruto. After accessing Son Goku's power, he creates a Rasen Shuriken with a lava-infused nucleus, the heat of which causes the blades themselves to emit steam. The technique is strong enough to destroy a target's legs, and when expanded, it was powerful enough to bisect the Tentails tree form completely, something that even Might Guy's strongest kick was unable to do. The thing that I like the most about this kick at Genkai is that it has its own chakra mode which makes it completely unique from other Keke Genkais. The Lava Release Chakra Mode is a heightened state utilized by Roshi after manifesting one of Son Goku's tails. Roshi envelops his entire body in a coating of lava that enhances the damage of his physical attacks. Due to the extreme heat generated by the lava, he is capable of burning the target without coming into direct contact with them. In addition, it can also be used for defensive purposes as it acts as a deterrent towards those who wish to attack the user physically. This mode should also be accessible to Naruto since he possesses the chakra of four tails and has also used Lava Release Keke Genkai several times. I can't think of any reason as to why he would not be able to use it, so this seems like a very interesting mode and I'd love to see it. Plus, Son Goku was the first tailed beast who befriended Naruto after Kurama and Hachibi and it would be nice to see them working together again. Another interesting ability of Naruto's, which will greatly boost Naruto's physical stats, is Boil Release, Unrivaled Strength, which is a ninjutsu fighting style used by Kokuo and his Jinchuriki. While using this technique, the user increases the temperature of the chakra to the boiling point, generating large amounts of steam and evaporating any water or ice in direct contact with their body. The pressure resulting from this emitted steam can then be used to increase the force behind physical attacks, giving the user immense strength. The exact amount of force produced is proportional to the quantity of steam released, as the greater the volume of steam used, the greater the pressure that can be built up. On releasing the pressure, not only is the user's strength enhanced, but their speed is increased as well. Also, in Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 3, Han has shown that he can use the hot steam emitted from this technique to burn opponents around him. This technique looks a lot like eight gates, but unlike that technique, unrivaled strength does not seem to have any drawbacks, and I think it would be cool to see Naruto use this technique once again. He's only used it once, in a battle with Kaguya, and that was it. To be honest, I'm pretty sad that Kurama has died and left Naruto. But on the other hand, it's very interesting to see Naruto using something other than Kurama's abilities. It was kind of repetitive, and I think after losing his favorite tailed beast, Naruto will be forced to use new abilities, and I can't wait to see him. Anyway, I guess that's all for today. What do you think about this new mode? Let me know down in those comments below. 
I hope this was informative. Make sure to check out our other videos if you like this one.